As you guys can tell, my closet is a complete disaster. Therefore, I am going to transform this messy closet to my dream closet. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica Michelle and in today's video, as you guys can read from the title, today I'll be doing an extreme closet transformation video. I am so very excited to be doing this video because I have been living in this house for a month. My closet has not been done. It's a complete disaster. It's a complete mess. So I'm very excited to be doing this video and showing you guys me transforming my messy closet to my dream closet. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. And if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. This is my current situation. I did put away some shoes, but they are not staying like that. This is how my closet's looking. All my shoes are a complete mess. I have random boxes here, random towels. I have another bit of shoes over there. I have a lot of luggage, like suitcases here. Pillow that I need to clean? Like, do you see that? I have a lot of hangers over here. I did buy that stack from Amazon. It's just a complete disaster in here. I did put some clothes away because I couldn't be living like for my suitcase, but it's not going to be staying like that because I need to put them away onto hangers. I do have this little little cute section I need to fix up. I also have some boxes up there like I have my Louis Vuitton box, I have my Canon box, like MacBook, all that other good stuff. And then this is what I've been living off of. I love that I put my clothes away on the hangers on here, but I need to rearrange them, put them where they're supposed to be. I just have a lot of random things in my closet and it's a complete disaster. I need to fix this thing up pronto or else I'm literally going to lose my marbles. I did put some things away here, but it's not staying there whatsoever. This this is a complete disaster. This is also a complete disaster. And I have my little library there. Look at that. And then in here, I do not like showing what's in here, but this is a lot of clothes that I need to sell. And I need to like go through them to make sure like if I want to sell them, if I want to donate them, like what do I really want to do with them? But it's just a disaster. I can't, I can't be living in like a freaking mess. Like this is just not me. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this video because I just cannot look at this freaking mess any longer. I'm gonna first start off with my shoes because I actually bought some like shoe bins from Amazon. They're like some clear ones and I need to actually put them together. I haven't done that yet because I've been waiting to film this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them together and then also like move some things out the way so I can have some room to sit down, do the boxes, put them away and figure out if I wanna put them on that section or this section. I think maybe that section. <laughs> So I'm finally done doing all these boxes, putting them together. I have 24 in total. 12 came in one pack and then 12 came in another pack. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. So this is how you do it. Just open it up, close it back, and I just, I love it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the things that's on this shelf. And then I'm gonna start putting some shoes in these boxes and then start putting them away. Now that I'm done with doing my shoes and putting them away, I'm literally like in love with how they turned out. I don't even think I need to buy any more of the boxes, but I did go ahead and stuff some shoes in there because I was like, some of these are small and like some flats and sandals. I was like, might as well just stack them together. But they came out so pretty, so cute. I just love how they look. But I'm going to go ahead and remove like all these luggages, suitcases, any like empty boxes and bins that I have. And I'm going to go and put them in my room right now. I know my room looks like a mess right now because I was just taking things out from this section but i'm just gonna go ahead and remove any empty boxes that i have so let's go ahead and do that so i went ahead and removed the boxes and now i'm just gonna pick up any trash that i have on the floor i also have like some random socks on the floor so i'm just gonna put those away pick up some trash put it in the bag and then i'm gonna continue on with the video so 
as you guys can see here, I do have some bins. I did get those two from TJ Maxx slash Home Goods, and I did put some random things in there, but I'm gonna take out everything that I have in like that bin, those bins that I just showed you guys, and I'm gonna dump them on the floor. I do have some more bins, and I'm just gonna start organizing them with like things that I have for like YouTube, like my camera equipment, my SD cards, the things for editing. I'm gonna organize it with like things that I have for like Bath and Body Works, for, like the scent things, anything in general. Like I really don't even know what I have in these bins at this point, so that is why I need to dump them out and put them on the floor. So let's go ahead and also do that. <laughs> been organizing these shelves right here I don't know if I'm just gonna keep them like that I still have a lot of things on the floor that I need to figure out where to put what to throw away like how to organize it all I have like a lot of these bins that are from Ikea like back in the day like but I have like a lot of these bins and then some more things on the floor that I need to organize but I want to take a break from that because it's kind of stressing me out I'm not gonna lie so I want to go ahead and do my clothes that are like on the hangers and stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through actually Actually, these drawers right here and start hanging some clothes that I have that I want up on the hangers because there's like t-shirts like this like small little tees or any other like going out clothes that I just don't want in there so I have more room to put more clothes in there to be honest I don't really don't have that many clothes I actually do have a lot of clothes but they're clothes that I just do not wear whatsoever which I feel like I need to look through that to make sure if I want them or if I don't want them so that might be for another day because I'm really not feeling it today I'm really not feeling like going through all those because there's like so many of them so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into these drawers and start putting them on the floor you know there's a lot of things on the floor this this is literally a lot of work <laughs> ordered these I want to say like three hours ago and it came in the mail but I was waiting for these and I was going to continue this video when I received these but these are basically velvet hangers or black hangers so I can hang my pants so they don't look like that anymore and I can use those hangers for like other shirts and I'm also going to hang up my like leggings and my shorts and like skirts as well so I'm going to unbox this and then begin once again. <laughs> So it's a few days later, more like two days later, and I am almost done with my closet. Everything in my big closet is done. This one over here, I'm not touching that because like I said, it's a lot of clothes that I want to sell, donate, like look through to make sure if I want to keep any of that. And then I also have my two other closets, which has like some decorations and things and like pillows that I need to put like everywhere, like in the house, like decorations. I, I haven't even gotten there yet. And then my other closet has like my vacuum and some like other things in there. So it's not really like that much I need to do left, but there is one important thing 
that I actually do have to do and it's for my safety and for me to feel a little bit more safe in my house. Not saying that I don't feel safe in this house, I am in love with this house, but just so I have like a little bit of a more like safety manner, I'm going to show you guys what I actually got from RP and B. So let me go ahead and unbox it and show y'all. So here is my big package. This is from RP and B Safe. If you guys are interested in getting actually this safe, make sure you go ahead and check down below in my description box. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox it together. comes with this little bag and it has two keys in it so here are the two keys just simple black keys and then it comes with this RPNB electronic security home safe flash RPESA series instructions manual so I'm just gonna go ahead and read through this and look at how to operate this safe here it just says like a box contents like how it would be with like low battery opening up the safe having a backup key battery installation master code programming code requirements silence mode setting to carry in your safe and then also they have customer support here so if you need any help by any chance or something is like wrong with your safe like if you have a problem you can go ahead and contact the customer support at rpnbsafe.com so as you can see right here this is the front of the safe and right here in the front as you can see it says rpnb you remove that right here you just take it off and then you use the key that came in the packaging and then you're just supposed to open it up and then you have the safe the reasoning why I'm opening it up is because I need to put some batteries in so the safe works and take out the rest of the contents from the safe and it came with these as well these are like screws so right now I'm just following the manual right now it just says battery installation and it's telling me to remove the battery cover and it actually shows you like pictures of like what everything is so as I turn it and open up the door this is where the battery's at so this is actually a lot easier than I expected so right here you're just supposed to slide it down and then take this off and then insert the batteries right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I went ahead and grabbed my battery that were downstairs these are the double a energizing max batteries so go ahead and slide these puppies in a green light flash so it's working i believe that rpnb can help you find the best safe to fit your needs so that you can protect your most prized people and possessions rpnb offers a comprehensive line of products in a variety of sizes to deliver security where and when you need it most also rpnb provides global shipping to keep you protected wherever you are in the world whenever it's in a drawer in a car under a desk this product can keep your valuables safe anywhere. If you have any questions, you can find the after sales service through customer support in the operation manual or the contact us section under the website. Timely service can quickly solve your problem. There are several ways to unlock this product, a mechanical lock, electronic lock, and biometric fingerprint identification lock. The electronic lock can choose a variety of digital combinations and can also be quickly accessed through programming RFID. The mechanical lock can be a manual key or a dial combination lock. It can be locked without a battery. It is the most primitive and traditional way of unlocking. So I just went ahead and put my safe in one of my closets. I'm so freaking excited because now I feel a lot safer. I have my like laptop, my iPad, and my new camera in there as well. Also, this camera's gonna go in there right after I'm done filming because I'm about to leave in a bit. Even though I have like cameras and stuff in my house, it just makes me feel like one step safer in a way, just having a safe here. And it's very reliable. It's very accessible to just like me or whoever has the key. The only person that's gonna be having the key is me. So it came with two keys as I showed y'all. I am so grateful for RP and B safe if you guys are wanting to get a safe just so you guys feel a little bit safer just like i chose to make sure you go ahead and check down below my description box go ahead and you can go see which safe i also got it'll all be down below in the description box if you guys have any questions make sure you let me know and also you can go ahead and contact the customer service they're very fast for responding and very reliable as well you can also choose where you want to put your safe i personally chose to put it in one of my closets since i did just recently move into this house i wanted to have a safe but i didn't know where i could put it at you can put it in your room your bathroom in your closet you can also put it in like your laundry room you can put it in your kitchen your pantry in your car you can put the safe wherever you want i really hope you guys get a safe as well so you feel more protective and more safe in your household make sure you go ahead and check out rpnbsafe.com so you guys can also get yourself a safe <music> So 
here is the overview of my closet. So this section right here in my closet is where my shoes are at and I'm very happy with how it turned out. As I did mention, I got these boxes from Amazon and I'm so happy to be having them. But it's just like so easy and convenient to just open it up, get whatever shoes I want and then I can put it back to where they're supposed to be at. I also have my Uggs in another section because it's not winter time and it's currently summertime. So now we're in this section of my closet which is actually my favorite freaking section. Down here I actually have my laundry hamper so I can just go ahead and throw in my dirty clothes and it's just like easy and out of the way like of my actual room. But then right here I have all of my dresses. I do have some more dresses that are in like some bins and stuff that to go through but these are all the dresses that I could find for right now. I like to color coordinate all of my clothes if you can't tell by now. Um, it's just something I've like always done ever since like I moved out of my parents house like five years ago. And then over here I have all of my shirts that I wear almost like every day. I'm actually wearing one of those shirts right now but these are like clothes that I wear either like to the gym or to work or like just having a casual day. I have some from like Gymshark from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I have some from like Lululemon as well. And up here is another one of my favorite areas of my room. These are like more shirts that I wear whenever I like go out to like drink or like do anything like with my friends. I am 22 years old so I am of age of drinking but this is like more like my going out clothes. Or I do have like some pinks that I do wear like even with my family. And then down here I have all my sweatshirts. I tend to wear a lot of sweatshirts or like crew necks and like hoodies all the time. I just like to be comfy. Like I'm wearing literally like just this tennis skirt and then the shirt and then just like some socks. I just personally love to be comfy. If I'm not comfy then I just do not feel the best if that makes any sense. And then down here I have all my bottom for example like what I'm wearing right now I have like more tennis skirts in here from like Lululemon majority is Lululemon or from Gymshark and then I have a couple things that's like from TJ Maxx and Marshalls but these are also all clothes I wear whenever I go to the gym or like on a relaxing day so it's like the same thing with the shirts above but for bottoms <laughs> and then I also have like this little yellow pillow that I got from my previous room at my other apartment and then over here I have all of my like longer bottoms if that makes sense I have like some Gymshark leggings some Lululemon leggings or like Lululemon like joggers I have all those that's separated from here over there. I have beach pants as well and then all my jean pants as well. And then right here I have like a little shelf and then I forgot I actually have this mirror. It's like the whole like Pinterest mirror that you've seen on like TikTok, on YouTube, on Pinterest. Like you've seen this mirror multiple times. And then I have this little bin that I got from TJ Maxx, Marshall's Home Goods. Um, I have some shorts here that I don't really care for to put like on the hangers. These are more like shorts that I don't really wear. And then I have my cowboy boots or cowgirl boots from Princess Polly. Whenever I did do a collab with them. I got these because I was wanting some white ones so badly and these are actually like one of my favorite pairs I've ever owned of like cowgirl or cowboy boots whatever you would call it. Up there I do have some boxes in case if I did send me some cases as well but I'm not getting into that with this video. I also have my Louis Vuitton box which my boyfriend got me a wallet for Christmas which I really love and I use that every single day so I wanted to display the box because it's really pretty. And then I also have like this little section here in my closet. I have this little vase with like some fake flowers that I got from Amazon. Both of them from Amazon. I a little bit more color like I said. I have this balloon that I don't think it's ever going to deflate whatsoever but I got that from like one of the jobs that I work like on campus at UNC Charlotte. I have this little smelly thing over here so my closet doesn't smell like straight up sugar honey iced tea. I also have like a wallflower from Bath and Body Works. I have this little elephant that my brother made for me a long time ago so I have that. I have this little like sign that my dad wrote love you to me like a while back and I had it in my room at my parents house a long time ago but then I wanted to just have it over here. I have these like sunnies that I got from I think Princess Polly. I like wearing them. They make me feel like I'm Kim Kardashian up in here. Like making me feel like I'm a bad bee. Like who's gonna stop me? No one. <laughs> And then I have like this little jewelry holder over here um, with a lot of different jewelry items that I don't wear as much as I used to. And then I have this little like cute thing. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It's so freaking cute. I just love how it's like half and half with the colors. And then I have a picture of my family. It's like a very old picture. So. I also have this mirror that my mom got me this years ago whenever I went to NC State. It's like a mirror that you can like pluck your eyebrows or whatever you need it closer. And it also turns on. It's not as bright as it used to, but I used to use this all the time when I would like get ready like in my dorm. I have my little boarding pad from like New York to Paris because that was like very monumental or like sentimental to me because my dream was always to go to Paris and I still can't believe to this day that I went to Paris and just I want to go back so bad I, I loved it and then I have this little like Lego that my boyfriend got from his friend on his uh, 21st birthday so he just has it here because he doesn't have anywhere else to put it so I was like just for me to have like a piece of you here whenever you're not here like visiting me or whatever I can just have like your little McLaren in it and he built it by himself and then I also have 
my other pair of sunnies that I got from Amazon and these. I wore these in Paris and I was like, <laughs> Bonjour, je m'appelle Erika, like, como se va? I don't know if I said that correctly whatsoever. But I felt like Kim Kardashian with these as well. And then I also have my little thing with like my pens, my pencils, my highlighters, my expo markers, and even some scissors. I want to put that downstairs whenever the office is like done and stuff. And then I have these like little notes that like one of my brothers wrote for me and then my dad wrote for me. And then down here I have all these shorts. It's just like four drawers. But um, I'm not going to get into depth with them because, um, you know, I have like my intimate items. I have like my underwear, my socks, and also my bras up here. I have like my sleeping clothes here. And then you can't see down here, but I also have another section with like some random other clothes all the way down here, which you can't see and it's for a reason. I have a junk drawer and I don't know what, but I've always had a junk drawer. I have a lot of things that I don't know where to put. So I just place them all in here. And then up here, I have all my like winter clothes that I'm not wearing. And then down here, I just have like a lot of random like shirts, if that makes any sense. Like I have some things that I don't really wear that much. So that's why they're hidden in this corner, except like some of these like pullovers or like these like sweaters and things because I do get cold easily. And then over here, this is my actual junk corner. So I have like a yoga mat that I got from Amazon ages ago when the pandemic first happened. I have this like ironing board whenever I want to iron my clothes, my book bag for school, this that I used to use whenever I was at NC State, a big blanket whenever it gets really cold here, like when it's like winter time. And then I have like a bin down here that has like all my blankets and stuff. Up here, I have all my purses. So I usually use this one that I got myself ages ago or this one that I got myself currently um, from Kate Spade. I use those a lot. And then I have like some other smaller purses as well. And then one that my brother, my sister-in-law got me. And then like some hangers that I don't use because they're not black hangers. So I need to go home and give those to my parents and be like, if y'all want them, y'all can have them. And then I have like this hat that I still haven't used, but I've been meaning to use it for like the fall time. And then I have some belts there whenever I am wearing some jeans or like jean shorts and I want to like make sure it's a little bit more secured. Up there, I have more hangers, like the ones I got from Amazon. These are the ones for like your shirts. And then the ones over there are for like your pants, like your bottoms and stuff. In this corner, I just have some boxes. I have some more at home from like my Apple products and stuff. I have my laptop box there, my watch box, my iPad box here. I have this little love box that my boyfriend got me. I have like some lotion there that I don't use because I really don't like it, but I just like how it looks. And then this little like, what is it called? Rainy day fund that I don't have any coins in here anymore because I kept like switching them out at work because they would need me like a lot of coins and stuff. And then you're gonna see, I have a lot of these that I got from TJ Maxx slash home goods. And here I have like all my electronics in a way. I have a lot of cables there for like my, I don't even know for what, but I have so many cables. So this big box needed all my cables in there. So I have that. I got this for like Christmas. I don't know who got me that. And then I have this little like mug that I got from my sorority whenever I become an alum or alumna. And I have like some Bath and Body Works scents here, like the wallflowers so I can like go ahead and put them around my room. I also have more, but y'all are gonna see where that's at. I have a lint roller because there's also a cat here. And for some reason, my clothes get very linty even without the cat. So the lint roller is very necessary, especially since I showed like a dog and a cat. <laughs> Down here, I have things that I use for YouTube. So I have my like my M50 box here. I have some things I need to go put downstairs in the office that I got from Amazon. This box right here is my pride and joy because it's all the things I use for YouTube. Like I put my SD cards in there. I put all my like cables that I need from like my cameras. And then I have this little like UB, I don't know what it's called, but basically you can like plug this into the wall and then it just like, it creates like a whole background of like the sky and it's like really cute. And then I have this like, I love you mad box that my boyfriend got me for Christmas 2020. He got me this box and then I have my vitamins in here and then some more vitamins and pepper spray as well. And then I have this little decor that my mom has been making me like keep and I actually don't mind it. It's cute. I have this little like fake plant and a lot of mail that I need to give to my dad. So I need to go home this week and give it to him. And then in this box, I have a lot of my disposables. I have like so many. I also have like little Polaroid thing where you can print out your pictures through like your phone. And then I have this over here that has a lot of bags, like a lot of Lululemon bags. And then I have these right here that are for painting their like canvases. And then up there, I also have some more boxes. I have this from like the little like massage gun or whatever. I use that quite a lot. And then I have like my Apple Pencil box here. I have my Nintendo Switch box because my boyfriend got me a Nintendo Switch. And here I have a lot of like things for like school and stuff. Like I have some like notebooks and pens, some paper. Like I have folders. I have like, all the kind of things that you can think about for school. And then I have this little like clock that I got from Home Goods. I thought it was like very cute. And then I just have some diffusers in the back. And then right here I have this little like love thing that my boyfriend's mom got me. And then I have this little like hand mold that me and him made for our one year. I think it was last year because we've been together for two years. And then I have this other one that my brother made, but it's for him. And then I have some journals here. A journal that I still haven't used. And then like I have some other journals. Five minute journal is currently in my nightstand. So I don't have it here because I just used it today. So I have to put it back. I have my little freaking library here. I'm 
a big fan of Colleen Hoover of Coho. Like TikTok, you've done it for me. Like Book Talk, I'm in love with you. I have all these books. Some books I have read, some I haven't. I am missing two books. One, my roommate is actually currently reading. It's like called The Night Olivia Fell. And then I'm currently reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and it's currently in my nightstand. And then I have this little like candle that's from Bath and Body Works. This that my boyfriend's mom got me. It has like another bookmark and like some little things in here as well. And then I have this little like refresh and waking crystal collection there's no crystals in here but i like the box because the crystals are in my bathroom currently and then down here i like to call it like the love shelf because all these things my boyfriend got me and except this actually but everything else he got me and it's just so cute and he also got me this little corgi calendar because me and him we really love corgis and that's like our favorite dog and then i got this box for us so it has like all the things that we've like experienced in the two years like when we went to charleston the first time together like when we went to like the zoo together like just a lot of things in here like some love notes like from me and him like we just have it there and then down here I have things that I have for like my Nintendo Switch or my Xbox I have like my Nintendo Switch games or even my Xbox games and I also have like the case for my Nintendo Switch some chargers in there and then some batteries and then I have my camera and then I have the box that it came with and then down here I have this little thing that I put all my paint supplies in I'm pretty sure I got this from like Michaels and it just has all the paint that I like used to like create canvases and artwork I have this Jenga game that my brother lent me and then I have like this let's get deep game that's for couples and then in here I have some uh, cards and then I also have some things like some scents I have wallflowers it smells really good in there oh my god I have wall scents from Bath and Body Works so whenever I'm out with the ones I showed y'all I'll just put some more in there and I have some incense as well and then in this corner as you guys know it's like the closet that I have all the things I want to sell donate or even check over before I do that and then I have this little like 21 sign that one of my previous friends she made for me back whenever I turned 21 last year and I just have it here because it's just like cute and I'm thankful for that so thank you for making that and then up here you can't really see but I have my Uggs I have this little bin that has like some knee-high boots that I personally don't wear anymore and I have this little plant that I used to have in my room at my parents house and then in this box oh, I have stuff that I use for the gym and then I have my boyfriend's JBL speaker here I have this little like lamp or I don't even know what it's called a salt lamp I got this from five below I have like my iron here and some other things for the iron I have this like good vibes that I used to use in my apartment because I currently don't know where to put it. I might put it here in my closet and then I have some bins with like some more clothes. So I have this box that has like shot glasses in there. I was not going to tell y'all what it had but it's like some that my brother got me whenever he's like traveled to like Dubai or like Paris or whatever. I have, like this like screen protector that I need to change on my phone that I've been meaning to change on my phone for like ages. I have my camera bag that I have not used since like God knows when. I have this little like roller thing that like whenever like I am very like stressed out or like, like whenever my muscles are hurting I like to use that. I have some clothes I need to like go ahead and return. I have this like bin that I used to use whenever I was at NC State and then I had it at my parents house and I don't know what the hell is in it if I had to be real with you so I didn't even want to go through this so I just left it how it was and I took a shelf off from here because it was a shelf so that's what this thing over here is. And I have some pillows here and then down here I have some towels. I have my little thing that I use a lot whenever I am editing on my bed and then I have this little like thing over here for the security cameras that I have around the house. You come into my room from over here my other closets over there the big one that we just came out of and then I have this one and then this one that I have some hangers here and then both of these closets have a window which I really like so it brings in some more light in my room so whenever I wake up I go ahead and open up both of these doors it brings a lot more natural light in here and I just really like that so I have some hangers I have a random pillow up there and then I have some decor over here that I need to go ahead and put up in my room but I haven't done that yet and then I have some more there and then out here I have more pillows and then some boxes that's like from my Dyson vacuum and then from my fan so that's really all for this closet and then we're gonna go into this next one this one has a little bit more things i have my security camera boxes here and then i have like this old vacuum that i've never used i got my dyson back there so that's that's all i need and then i have some luggage down here i have another one in there i have some boxes all these boxes have random things that i really don't use so they're just here and just in case i ever need them i can come over here and then i have like this over here there's two bins in here and they're like things for like my dyson if i want to switch out like the head of it and like use like a small little vacuum if that makes sense over here i just have like a big blanket that i use every night because i don't sleep under my covers i don't know if y'all do but i used to whenever i was younger and i live with my parents and then i have these ikea boxes that have some like random things in it as well that i don't really use and then of course i have my safe right there and i love my safe so much like this means everything to me and i do have like some things in there that i want protected even though i'm like here i can just go ahead and open it up it's not a hassle and i really love it so that is actually all for today's video i know it was like a little bit too overdue if that makes any sense and 
and you guys are getting like a little sneak peek of my room how it currently is but I still have to put things up on the wall so I am planning on doing a room transformation as well so make sure you go ahead and look out for that make sure you subscribe as well because I'm meaning the entire world to me if you guys like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to check out rb and be safe.com everything will be linked down below in the description box if you guys are interested I love y'all so much make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon bye